Well, it's uh, late January now in Southeast Ohio, but last night I mean, we saw some rain. We saw some rain in January. The rain definitely took me by surprise. Right now, Jimmy Griffith, Jeff Griffith has the weather. Jimmy, what's going on for the rest of the week? Well, thanks, Emily, Caleb, thank you. Uh, well, t today, as you saw, it was very overcast and is very overcast and will be very overcast. Uh, but tomorrow, we may have a little shift in that. We may see some snow early. Uh, and if we go and actually, let's go and talk about today. We'll get to the snow later. Uh, we can bring up the, what we've, oh, okay, okay. Well, our current conditions, uh, okay. 31 degrees outside right now. Uh, our wind chill is actually up there down to 29 degrees. Uh, and our current conditions are uh, not as bad as the wind chill would make it seem. The 31 degrees, uh, of course, outside, 29.9 uh, degrees of barometer, or barometric pressure. Uh, visibility of only four miles, as maybe you saw in that last shot, actually. You know, those mountains were covered by a pretty, uh, pretty big thing of fog. Um, and let's go on to the next slide here, sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, in the almanac, you'll see that uh, the daily average today, uh, we're pretty close to it, 36 to 30, you know, 31 is what we are. Uh, sorry, I forgot to change that, that 30 right there. Uh, but you'll see our record high is actually 71, and that was set in 1907, uh, January 19th in 1907. Uh, and that was actually, if you know who she is, uh, when Edith Burnett was born, uh, who was a uh, classic American actress, you know, now you know, huh? Uh, and our sunset is at 527 tonight. Uh, it's pretty pretty early in the pretty early in the uh, in the day because you know it's winter. It's what happens. Short days, long nights. And we can see now with the uh, the full Ohio radar, we see our Athens 31 down here. It's uh, it's not that bad actually for this time of year. Uh, Columbus and you know we're actually one of the lower in the region, uh, but up here in Toledo, they're 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 getting destroyed up there. It's real cold, uh, but. If we go and go onto our radar, uh, maybe we'll see that uh, that uh, this this little system down here actually missed us. Sorry that I that I'm blocking it. There's a small system down here that just missed us, uh, but it will not miss us uh, in the coming days. In the next two days, uh, we will be expecting a lot of snow, uh, possibly two to three, uh, three to five inches of accumulation, depending on who you ask. Uh, and the National Weather Service actually has a winter storm advisory set out for our area. That will last until 7 a.m. on Friday. Uh, and that is actually when the National Weather Service deems that it is imminent or highly likely that uh, we can experience snow. Um, and you can see uh, these, this system that's actually coming out of the Rocky Mountains is the one that we're worried about. Uh, well, actually, this, it's a little it's small counterpart here, really. That's what's going to come across our state and actually cover us in snow eventually. Uh, so when you guys are getting ready uh, today to pick up your kids from school, expect it still to be cold, and it's only going to get colder. Uh, so it, at nighttime, it's going to get down to 24, and into tomorrow, it can only get colder. Um, and we see the, uh, the 23 degree right now for the overnight. Uh, and we are going to be seeing 25 degrees tomorrow uh, and maybe even lower actually. Uh, and over the next couple days, only expect snow and cold weather. Uh, don't really look for any refuge from that. It's only going to be cold and All righty, well, thank you very much. And it's time to warm up those vocal cords and pick up your karaoke favorites. Find out about this event and more in today's community calendar. Well, it is uh, January, and it is a uh, busy, busy time for basketball, isn't That's it? That's right. We, we saw that cold weather outside, but we're going inside into the hard court. Let's start off with Fed Hawk, the boys' basketball team. Won their second game in a row last night, beating the Miller Falcons 57-44. to The Lancers were led by a stat sheet-stuffing performance by center Chris Saylor. 
The seven foot center, yes, that's right, seven foot center posted 17 rebounds to go along with 10 points and five block shots. Fed Hawk has won three of their last four, improving their record to three and seven overall. And the Athens girls basketball team edged out a close one against Nelsonville York, winning 38 to 36. With 30 seconds left, Elena Lane got an uncontested layup to put the Bulldogs up too, but she wasn't done yet. The clock was winding down. Nelsonville York's L Abby Talbert drove inside for the lay-in, but was stuffed by Lane's seventh and most important block of the game. The block iced the game in favor of the Bulldogs, who are now 8-5 overall. The struggling Alexander Spartans got a big victory last night in a conference game. Danny English has the story.